So recently I was with a group of leaders processing recent failures. And as leaders shared, I noticed that multiple stories revolved around receiving challenging feedback. And it was a reminder to me that we each get to choose what to do with the feedback we receive. Particularly when it comes to critical feedback, it's obviously so natural to feel defensive when we receive critical feedback. And while absolutely, and hear me on this, feedback can be such a gift, it isn't always. It can be detrimental if we internalize or personalize it or take on feedback from someone who doesn't know us or whose feedback is misguided. I often use the example of the time I was given feedback by a brand new mentor who didn't know me at all and didn't seek to get to know me. And his feedback was, he encouraged me to lower my voice in the board meetings that I was presenting to male board members. He said that the tone of my voice was off-putting and made me lack credibility. So I tried to lower my voice, all the while losing myself in the process. His feedback was stupid. It was misguided. That feedback is not a gift. It's actually an insult and doesn't deserve any attention. However, just last week, I received really valuable feedback from a team member. I often get so excited about ideas and our direction. And the feedback was sometimes it's hard for team members to share concerns because of my over-enthusiasm. So it's helpful awareness and something I need to be cognizant of. I love my team member and I'm so grateful for her feedback. We have trust in our relationship. Her feedback is a gift, unlike the other example I shared. So here's to thoughtfully responding to what you do with the feedback you receive because you get to choose what to do with it. What a great way to take care of yourself and ultimately each other.